Welcome inside the Citrus TV studio. Q's Countdown webisode time. Chloe Smars, Ian Nicholas, and I'm Jacob Morris. With you talking Syracuse and North Carolina tonight inside the JMA Dome. Serves as an awesome opportunity for the Orange to pick up a quad one win in the JMA Dome against the defending national runner-ups. Chloe, I'll come to you first. If Syracuse is going to pull the upset in front of the home crowd, what's the key for the Orange? The key for the Orange, Jacob, is that they have to start off fast. We saw it against Georgia Tech this past weekend. They had a slow start. They did come out the window. But we saw early in the season against teams like Pitt, they weren't able to do that. Syracuse, though, their big advantage against UNC is their ability to shoot the three. UNC is only shooting 31% beyond the arc. That is what Syracuse can exploit in order to disrupt UNC's game plan this tonight. 100%. You're talking about what Syracuse needs to do defensively. Tar Heels only 31% from deep. You just mentioned it. So what do you have to do? Compact the 2-3 zone. Let Jesse Edwards go one-on-one -on -one with Armando Baycott, which is, yes, I understand. Easier said <laughs> than done. He's averaging 18-7. Best player on a really good yep. team last year. But if you really dare that team to shoot, they shot under 40% in their last win over NC State. I think Syracuse could get that win. It will be a challenge, but this is a really appealing matchup, at least defensively for the Orange. Yep. Limiting Baycott, like you said, easier said than done. But a good recipe for success. Another recipe for success against the Tar Heels. Getting them on the road just 1-4 and four away from Chapel Hill. So Ian, I'll come to you. Prediction-wise, do the Orange get it done and pull off the upset victory? Prediction and scoreline. No, prediction and score on again. Real specific. <laughs> I don't think they're cooking up an upset. Syracuse is going to fall at home 80-76. I just really think that the shot creators, although they're not great shooters, you know, three of them averaging over 15 points per game, I think that's a problem for Syracuse. I'm going to disagree with you here, Ian. Cool. Okay. I got Syracuse 78-74. They're coming off great momentum from Georgia Tech. It's also a home game. And I also love the way Syracuse has been playing in this press. I think they can force UNC to have turnovers, and that's what Syracuse is exactly going to do tonight to get a win. Wow. Optimism from Chloe. I'm bringing us <laughs> back down to earth. 82-70, North Carolina takes it. But that's all the time we have on this Q's Countdown webisode. Chloe Smars, Ian Nicholas, and Jacob Morris saying thanks so much and enjoy the full game.